then you must be well, mixed, mixed emotions tonight because you've seen one of your players get a hat trick, you've seen three goals, some great play, but you've conceded three goals. Mixed feelings? Yeah, I think the, the probably the overriding feeling right now is frustration. I think more than anything, and, and probably at the performance more than than the actual outcome and the result. I think the you know knowing what we're capable of and the level you know we we've hit in sort of previous games. You know we weren't quite at that tonight. I thought, uh, and that's why even in the change room afterwards, the players know it, the players feel it, they know what they're capable of and the level. And you know I thought we in certain areas we fell short of that tonight. So I think yeah, that's probably the uh, the biggest frustration is the performance, and then obviously when you you concede su such a goal late on, um, again that that just adds to the uh, you know that feeling really. So same point, I think not, you know getting a point. Uh, not 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 the end of the world. We played better against Sunderland and came away with nothing. So, you know, finishing the game and uh, tonight on a you know not a great performance and picking up a point means we're unbeaten still and it's something that we need to keep building on. It's almost a good sign when you can see the players after after you know getting a point in a game like that visibly, you know, hacked off with them with themselves with the performance with the result. Yeah, no, and credit to the group, you know, the standards that they hold and that, that we that we ultimately you know hold as a group of staff and where we want to get to as a group. I think you know. Uh, I have to give credit to Fleetwood as well. I thought they, you know, really, really frustrated us. I thought, you know, their, their game plan worked. It, you know, we played into their hands a little bit first half. Um, I thought it was better second half, and we came out and we, you know, had a bit more intent, a bit more, you know, we changed the structure slightly, and I thought it helped us. Uh, and again, I thought after the goal we lost a little bit of control, but I was more pleased second half I think than, than first half. Which was your favourite Scott Twine goal this evening? Because they're all, you know, really good goals, different goals as well. But um, a great performance from him, and he's it's not just he's not just about goals. He does a lot on the pitch, doesn't he? Yeah, no, terrific, terrific character. I think that you know, starting as a person, he's such a humble guy. He's, you know, honest, hardworking. You know, just loves football as well. Um, you know, there's, them free kicks aren't coincidence. He studies them, and you know, if you if you have a good conversation with him, he tells you about you know the the time and energy he's put into learning how to do it. So you know, that credit credit goes to him for that. You know, being so so dedicated to you know such a such a difficult technique. Um, so now he, he's been terrific since we've joined. He's a constant threat. Um, you know his quality in attacking areas has been really good. So he needs to keep. Obviously, there's other areas to, to to look at, but he needs to keep pushing, keep you know progressing, keep getting better, and keep delivering ultimately. And some minutes for David Kasumu for Moisa. You know, you know that's great for the fans to see. You must be thrilled that they got on the pitch. Yeah, that's that's the challenge I think we have at the minute in terms of you know we've got a lot of people com competing for starting spots so you know like managing the match minutes so you know we can keep people you know match sharps going to be you know going to be a challenge but i think you know great great to have them guys back on the pitch and you know hopefully now we can uh, see them go from strength to strength still nine games unbeaten in all competitions you've got to keep hold of something like that haven't you no definitely i think like we said you know the first game was was Sunderland here and you know ultimately went away you know relatively pleased with the performance and you know we got nothing from it you know uh, Look at tonight, and not quite a performance, but it shows another side. You know that I said to the guys, "No, we have to be able to grind out points when we're not playing well." And you know, I think I think we did that tonight. So we have to take you know elements from it. We have to take learnings from it. And you know, the, the beauty of this league is we've got another game Saturday. It moves on quickly. So what we can't do is sit around, you know, dwelling on it and feeling too sorry for ourselves, etc. We have to assess, reflect, you know, take the learnings from it, and then get ready to go against Saturday. Probably a bit too easy. The, the goals that Fleetwood scored, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the frustration, you know, amongst myself and the players. You know, like I said, the players hold themselves to high standards, and you know, I, th I think when you look at it, we g gave away the goals too cheaply. And of course, we, you know, we, if, you, if you look at the previous games, although we've been extremely, you know, solid in possession, I think the biggest thing that's got us the results, you know, recently is how well we've defended and how solid we've looked, and you know, how compact we've been. And just thought there's moments, you know, where we were too open tonight. We, you know. Some of the decision making at times went to went to you know on a, on a difficult quick pitch tonight, went to you know kind of smooth it out and went to actually just clear your lines you know wasn't quite right so yeah I think yeah it's a collective feeling you know we're, we're all slightly you know disappointed with the goals we conceded. You said on Saturday that you're a little bit frustrated with the way you guys saw out the last five minutes or so. Um, probably a similar feeling tonight. Yeah, of course. I think you know fr frustration is a, a common word, but. I think it's just you know, credit to the group because I know what they're capable of. When you when you see how how good they can be and how good they have been at times, you know, like I say, what was it, nine games unbeaten? You know, it's remarkable f for the guys. So I think you know it's it's a case now of continuing that, keep pushing, and you know them them little bits that we keep talking around. You know, for me, if if we learn it, we don't make the same mistake over and over again. So you know we've had a, an ex a new experience as a group tonight where we've not played well and we've taken a point. It's one as a group we've not had so far. So. Again, I think for, for me, is stepping back, bigger picture, looking where we're at. You know, the feelings raw because it's straight after the game. But you know, I'm sure we'll go away, we'll reflect, we'll look at the game, we'll look at you know the stats, and I'm, I'm sure you know there'll be a lot of positives to take from it as well.
I mean, you even say you didn't play well, but you could have scored six goals, I think, tonight. Yeah, I thought we I thought we looked the threat throughout. I thought, you know, Max had a really good chance early on. Yeah, one of the guys has said, you know, arguably a penalty as well for, for the handball. Uh, so it's going to some really good areas, I thought, where, you know, some crosses across the edge of the box uh, and half chances, I think, in and around the penalty box. I, I thought, again, we looked a threat. The biggest, I suppose, frustration is more the, the defensive side of the game than anything. Uh, what, how do you think the players dealt with the conditions out there where it seemed to just sort of rain heavily on and off most of the game? Yeah, I think it took a little while, you know, especially in, given the style that we were playing. You know, I think uh, uh, first first goal was a good example of, you know, quick, wet conditions, you know, the cheap turnover. But when you look at it, it's because arguably the pitch played so quick and we had, you know, pressure and they were waiting for us to play into their block for that moment. So, again, it, it took a little while, I think, to adapt. But, you know, arguably, uh, you know, it's the same pitch for them. So... It's one that, one that you know, arguably could help us as well. Uh, Marcel Riley was captain tonight with Dean Newton on the bench. How well do you think he did in the captaincy ball? Yeah, I was pleased with him. I thought he, he stepped up, to be fair. I thought he, uh, he, he tried to take responsibility uh, and lead in, in his way. He's obviously a different type of captain to what, to what Skip is in terms of experience and, and how he communicates. But, you know, he, what he doesn't do is shy away from taking responsibility. So, yeah, he, he's in a good vein of form and he has to, you know, keep on that.